everyone, my name is Daniel Smith and I'm here every single week to talk about tech I've tried out and tell you whether or not it's worth your money. Today we're talking about the JLab's Micro Speaker, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. JLab's Micro, can I get a drum roll? We're gonna be talking about the build quality, the sound quality, the pricing, um, yeah, that's, that's it. And then whether or not you guys should buy it. Um, so sit back and watch. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is that price. This speaker runs at $20. It goes on sale for $15 every once in a while but not as commonly as my last, like the retros, those go on sale pretty often. But these go on sale for 15 every once in a while. Um, but that's the price, $20 on Amazon and on the JLabs website. I'll have links in the description where you can find that right below. So the second thing I'm gonna talk about is that build quality. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you real up close the build quality and the different features and what you can do with the speaker. So here we go. So now we're gonna talk about the build quality. I'm gonna go over some features um, and overall how nice it is. So the speaker is completely made out of metal. It's got some rubber finish on the sides, but I think there's still metal underneath it. It feels so the rubber, very nice, matted. Um, it has one button, which you can use to play and pause, Bluetooth connected, uh, and your off and on switch. You have a micro USB with a flap here because it is IPX40. 54 rating rated and you get a nice strap this has a 600 milliamp battery which gives you 10 hours of battery life and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what happens if you get water on it because some of these are rated with water so sort of they survive but they don't sound good with water on it and here we go ah, and so it's gonna greatly your sound quality. All you gotta do is actually just blow in it. So it reduced my sound quality there, um, but not in a big deal. I have another speaker which I'm gonna be showing you guys very soon. Well, it's really not good when the uh, water gets on it. This one does not get affected much. It's a perfect shower speaker and if it does flip it over give it a good old blow and it works just fine let me go ahead and clean this up now so third of all I'm going to talk about sound quality and we're going to actually do a comparison to the 808 speaker here because I was blown away by the sound and that's half the price and we're going to talk about the JLabs compare them Overall, I'm going to mainly talk about sound quality of JLabs, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys up close so you guys can see a real quick comparison, and uh, it'll be easier to see which one I'm playing the music. So now for that sound quality test. To show you guys the sound quality of this one, and then to compare it with the 808. This is really important. Um, because this is important whether or not you should buy this one or this one. So here we go. I'm going to show you guys this JLab's uh, sound quality first because that's what this whole video is about. But I figured I'd just go ahead and show you guys real quick so you guys could know which one to buy. A little bit different style music. I mean, you guys have more broad view. surface so much.
gonna give you guys a wide priority. Variety, some piano. This is a cool song. So something very different from the 808. Something this speaker does really good is highs and mids. The 808 is a solely like bass song player. This thing has much better highs and mids. It sounds very crisp and clear. Like, like, there's really no songs I won't listen to on this. Like, it just sounds very crisp and clear. I love the sound. It's nice. It's $20 sound. But it is quieter. Um, so yeah, as far as bass goes, great. Executes that phenomenally. Highs and mids, crystal clear, I'm liking it, all the way up to max volume. Okay, so now I'm going to bring the 808, and I'm going to switch in between these through a song to kind of give you guys an image. Both of them will be at max volume, um, max volume. When I do it, I'm gonna kinda of just switch between them so you guys can get an idea of which one sounds better. For the record, maybe you guys don't want to tell the mic, this one sounds much more clear in the highs and stuff. They're about equal in bass, but this one's louder. This one definitely sounded better there. This one was definitely louder though. So I went ahead and pulled up some piano music because this is where a lot of speakers, speakers struggle. Um, it does highs, because like a lot of speakers are going for bass, which is great, I'm a huge bass head, but I want to be able to listen to a huge variety, variety. I struggle with English. A lot of different kind of music with speakers. I'm, a, I'm one of those guys who listens to just about every kind of music. Um, and so I like to switch between different kinds. And so I'm trying to, right now it's playing with the J-Labs. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to the 808. sound from the eight J Labs micro like more full more nice like I can hear a lot of quality drop here um, it's still a great speaker still just such a good speaker um, for 10 bucks but the the micro definitely blows the 808 out of the park as far as clear clean sound but the 808 is louder um, so overall sound quality J Labs did it again Great sound quality out of the J Labs Micro. Wow, now I don't want to turn off the song. This is a good song. So to round it up, who should buy the speaker? Should you buy the speaker? Um, yes, I think you should buy the speaker. But only if you're going for waterproof. These are the reasons I would pay extra for the speaker. You get waterproof, you get uh, more battery life, four more hours battery life. You're getting a nicer look, you're getting a strap, um, but you are losing that aux cord and you are losing a little bit of volume, but you're getting more clear sound. So that's kind of everything that ups the 808. That's, that, that's I, I'm kind of comparing competition here because I want to help you guys make the best purchase. Um, 
So buy the 808 if you can't really afford much. Um, if you want to go for cheap, buy the 808. You don't really care about the looks. You don't really care too much about battery life. I mean, six hours is still pretty good. Uh, if your kid, if you don't really care about waterproof, like there are definitely a lot of things you're losing here with the speaker. But it's a good cheap speaker, like ridiculously dirt cheap. If you want to go up a little bit, have the the best. Um, definitely, I like this one more than the 808. I take this one with me anywhere. I leave the 808 at home. Uh, I gave that to my sisters because I don't I don't really care about that one anymore. This one's for the people who um, who want to take it in the shower, who want to take this places uh, like uh, just put it on your desk for. The people who want something that looks nicer um, and wants a more clear sound in the highs and mids because that's where this one goes out to. So I do recommend this speaker but only if you're looking for those things because this one is still really good and this is twice the price. So I've told you the pros and cons, it's kind of for you guys to decide uh, whether or not you want to buy it. Um, but I think that price is where it, right. I think they did a good job pricing it. They added some things compared to this one, and I would definitely say check it out. I like I've said, I have links in the description below. Um, and yeah. So last up, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed every last minute of it, and I hope I was able to help you guys understand more about the speaker and whether or not you should buy it. Um, have a Merry Christmas, a jolly time. Like it if you liked it, love it if you subscribe it, and have a merry jolly Christmas. Goodbye.